Hello everyone, and welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays, and uh, my brand new microphone, which I'm still really liking, and I'm super happy that a lot of people have given me really positive feedback about it. I'm happy that you guys are happy that I'm happy. Anyway, uh, today we're here to talk about the JP live stream that just happened, and this live stream, um, it, it basically was... Uh, the last one that we're going to get this year for the JP side. And obviously, as you can see right here, this is the um, probably the biggest announcement was uh, the fact that Nier will be the next collaboration. It's also Wotiv's first outside collaboration outside of the Final Fantasy sphere, but not out of the Square Enix sphere. So, yeah, uh, Nier as... I mean, there is definitely going to be a lot of people who love Nier that are going to be happy to see this. I, I don't know how many of them play Wotiv. <laughs> But uh, more near for near fans is always good. Uh, as for my own personal opinions about some of the stuff we're going to talk about today, I'm going to try and keep it to the end of the video. Uh, just go through the news and whatnot and then give you my personal opinion and uh, thoughts at the end of this, including whether or not this will be coming to global based on what I think. All right. So let's get on with uh, talking about the live stream. And one of the things we're going to talk about for, we're actually going to be starting at the last bit of the live stream and going to the beginning bit of the live stream uh, because there's something that I really want to talk about that happened at the beginning of the live stream. Um, but I want to talk about it at the end because it's more into my personal thoughts. Anyway, um, as you can see, Mont Leonis is getting his own UR form. Now, it is, I do believe that they, it was stated that he is going to be a double cost unit. Not 100% confirmed yet. Um, obviously, things can change up until this unit's release, so please keep that in mind. Um, I think it's also expected to, that he is going to be a fire elemental, but I, um, I, I, I can't remember. I think we're going to get a clip here in a second. Uh, taking a look at his limit burst, here it is. So you can see him here uh, with the power of the sun and the power of his father. I'm sure that's not remotely any kind of a spoiler. And please keep the spoiler out. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he's a fire elemental character. Just because he has fire in his limit burst doesn't mean he's a fire element. Oh, geez. Come on, you guys. Anyway, Mont, uh, I, I, I think that this is going to be uh, kind of a really scary idea because basically the JP side has only had limited character after limited character after limited character. The last non-limited character was the beginning of November, and it has been a long time since. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be until you are Mont, potentially, that we see a non limited character and you are mont is going to if he is a double cost he is a double cost the first double cost ex unit and that is just a huge cost like ex jobs were already basically doubling the cost of units and now uh, it's going to be a double double so you know as a canadian while i can respect that term i'm not super happy also what was announced here was the fact that um mont what, or Mont was not the only piece of news here. They also talked about Glassy and the fact that Glassy did win the JP popularity contest. But at this point, they really don't have anything to show or it's not ready or whatever they want to tell you, basically. Um, honestly, it's been six months. It's been six months since this happened. Um, I'm really shocked at this point that we don't even have concept art, that we don't have any ideas or anything fun to show off like this is your last live stream for the year obviously there's a little bit of tension between the community and whatnot but uh it is a little disappointing to hear that glassy just has nothing to show because if she is a reskin at this point um wow uh that's quite saying a lot that you guys can't get that done um but and and no i don't care i don't think it's excusable um but personal opinion shoot keep that out umbra anyway uh, I'm, I'm not happy to hear that uh there's nothing to show for that and if it is a brand new kit and a brand new unit um I, i'm just not really excited about that either that the fact it, this feels like it's just taking too long and while obviously i'm not in their developer circle to know about you know whether how this is going or whatnot but i i just i i'm not particularly crazy about this anyway all right now other than that there really wasn't a lot to talk about uh for uh the mid part of the stream there was some um, uh event pvp stuff and there was also 
um, promoting the soundtrack, which is coming out really shortly. And obviously the big news of all of it was the fact that Nier was announced. And let me tell you something, uh, Nier will be coming with some stuff for people. So first of all, uh, two new UR characters and one UR vision card were confirmed on the live stream. First of all, uh, 2B will be coming to the game. She is a wind elemental character. I do believe that her primary class, which is, uh, of course, a unique class, is supposed to be something like a gunner-based character. Um, if I remember correctly of what was said on the live stream, I do believe Samurai and Pergilist will be her uh, secondary and tertiary jobs. I'm not overly excited about Pergilus being in there. Uh, Samurai tends to have some good stuff. To be, you should also be noted that she will be a gotcha character. So if you do want her, you're going to have to end up getting her. Her abilities end up are... Looks like she is going to be mainly an attacking based character. Uh, uh, looking at uh, the main part of her kit, they're going to show her limit burst off in a second here. Uh, the Both of the near units, though, do look like they will have actually some status effects and whatnot on their abilities as well, which is, yeah, you know, potentially interesting. So here is 2B's Limit Burst. I guess that was the gunner part. Looks like it gives her a boost at the end of it. And that's basically it. We also get a little bit of a preview of her kit. Uh, I just want to actually get to the art. Oh, there we go. So you can get a good sh uh, look here. First of all, something that I'm noting is that quite a few of her abilities have very good range on them. Uh, that's great. That's good news for a character like this. Uh, Wind Elemental, obviously pair with all of your wind elements you'll probably have a master ability that improves all your other wind elemental units such as we see nowadays but a couple things to note does look like she has a double hit ability uh in her kit she also has an ability that can cause confusion and it is an aoe hitting ability okay all right seems fine and uh last but not least seems like she does have a some self buff abilities that only target herself so that's kind of a brief look at her kit. Um, other than that, uh, kind of hard to say whether she's going to be that great. Obviously, newer EX units have a big advantage versus older EX units and collaboration characters as well. But I'm interested to see where she fits in as a damage dealer because it does seem like, you know, while being... While damage dealers are a, quite a few or quite a bit lately, um, one of the things that made you know Yuna a little more interesting was the fact that uh, Yuna had a, a counter that basically made her very survivable and still high damage output and good HP and everything. So it'll be interesting to see if 2B can compete against Yuna. Uh, it also looks like she has a barrier with uh, the ability to absorb HP at the time of the attacker. Uh, you can fight while maintaining a high HP. So see, I, I think that she's going to be ending up being probably a really good PvP character. But, you know, still early days. We'll take a full look at her kit later. And next up is 2B, or sorry, not 2B, 9S. And something to note about 9S is a wind elemental spear user. Uh, he is going to be also a free copy character. So if you are always liking these free characters, well, this is going to be your first one. The free, he will get a first copy free kind of thing. Other than that, um, I assume he still needs his shards in the same way that Titus has. So free, but not that free. Taking a look at his limit burst, it is dealing out a high amount of damage and uh, also giving an effect to uh, getting into the rest of his kit is a little more interesting though. He does have a multi-hit ability that uh, probably is going to be very similar to Glassy. Uh, also in his kit, he does have a large damage ability that can reduce the attack and magic 
of the, the uh, target user or the target. So that is potentially good. And he does have a ability that looks to uh, improve defense capabilities for not just him, but other units. So if I was to say um, objectively, which unit I find more interesting at this point, kind of hard to say. I think that uh, 2B might just end up being a new Yuna, but a physical-based Yuna if she is capable of absorbing enough HP uh, and still dishing out a lot of damage. She could be very comparable to Yuna, but without the healing aspects. Uh, looking at 9S, I actually think that 9S might be more interesting because of the support aspects. I still think that Titus is really, really good for having haste again. I think that this could be a similar situation, just more defensive option. And if it doesn't cut his HP in half, like, uh, okay, that's not quite fair. But if it doesn't cut his HP like Cecil, I think that this unit could be really interesting as well. There will also be a brand new vision card coming to the game as well. And I'm interested to see whether or not this vision card is going to support more 9S or 2B. I feel that with the last event, since Titus was free, they made the two vision cards very, very supportive of Titus while making just Orin and Yuna generally really strong. And I'm curious to see here whether or not um, that happens here with this vision card, whether it's going to be more in the line for making 9s stronger and 2b is just going to be generally strong while being a gotcha character uh there'll be the two new weapons a spear and a sword as you can see here or katana these are the two units we'll be fighting and it looks like there will be a chance to get a odd SSR piece of equipment. So that's kind of cool for a collaboration since obviously when you see these collaborations you want stuff from those games and that seems to be what you're getting here. All right last but not least I want to talk about this which is the uh, opening part of the stream. The JP producers ended up uh, doing this kind of very very serious in tone um, apology before jumping right into the announcement and honestly the thing there's a couple things that i do want to talk about and i want to address this really quickly first of all uh they basically just apologized they did not actually explain what was going on or the fact of what's happened on global or since or anything like that and it's not just me who's frustrated with this it's also jp players jp players were in the chat not incredibly happy about this and in on twitter also sounding pretty unhappy so it looks like the jp users are expecting more from this and honestly i am too i don't think that hirano should still be here in terms of his mismanagement and his screw up somebody should have definitely um probably paid a little bit more for this and honestly this is this is just that company level of we're sorry kind of thing um we've seen this before from this company and I'm sure we'll probably see it again in the future. But whether or not I personally was thinking was happy with this, no, I, I'm not. I'm uninterested in saying you're sorry at this point. You've put, you've made the game more expensive recently. You've made the game um, a little more cumbersome to play. You've made all of these things that uh, just have made the game feel worse. And the gotcha problem probably deserved a little bit more. And I think it could have deserved a really long explanation instead of a 30 second thing at the beginning where you guys say how sorry you are and it'll never happen again because, well, I've heard this personally and JP players have heard this and we're just not. It, it sounds like uh, it's not just me who's frustrated for all you globalers out there who are like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. It's just Umber being, um, no not just me other jp players are unhappy it should be noted that this live stream was not exactly the most viewed thing ever um in terms of the anniversary live stream you know they got over ten thousand viewers back then and uh this one they were barely able to keep a thousand and i feel like yeah uh, you kind of reap what you sow you know you guys have made the game more expensive and less friendly to the players and you screwed up with the gotcha and at this point yeah if the players want to go off and play something else good for them they should be uh they have that freedom so yeah uh it was also kind of funny because at the end of the live stream too 
there were the pl uh, the guys on the panel were basically you know almost in tears about how great of a year it was and everything like that and honestly it's just 30 seconds at the beginning of a live stream is not enough to make amends for how badly you guys screwed up in one of the major parts of this game the game that can literally take from players thousands upon thousands upon tens of thousands upon potentially even a hundred thousand of their resources in this game trying to get a character they like only to end up potentially with nothing or just a bad feeling and the system's not good enough and i think that's yeah so talking about now whether or not i think near will be coming to global yes i do think near will show up in global i don't think it'll happen until next year though probably you know, February or March, potentially in line with some near announcement or near product coming out. I do believe they're re releasing near in March, uh, the original near. Sorry if I got that wrong. I'm not the biggest near fan, but I, I don't see this coming to global next week. Um, I think this will come in due time. So globalers, if you're really in to this kind of stuff. Good news. You can start saving now and get it later. And um uh, hopefully it'll be everything you want. In terms of whether or not I think the near will impact the meta, of course I do. It's another limited time unit. Um, but personally, uh, I, do, I am pretty tired of this at this point. We've seen uh, basically over a month and a half now of limited time units. And this is going to continue into the next month. Near continues to the 15th. Which is another thing that is, I feel is kind of frustrating. For Final Fantasy X, they, they made a longer period. So it would be easier for people to get charged since EXs are more difficult to get uh, a unit up to level 120. And obviously collaborations are shorter periods of time. And if you don't get it done, well, you're kind of SOL. Uh, potentially a fair bit. So yeah. The fact that Nier is starting on the 23rd this week when Final Fantasy X is not over yet and um we're getting more limited units and it's they're more ex units and they're more expensive and all of this and here's just not my favorite thing ever um you know i'm pretty unexcited for this uh in general but i think that this is just really frustrating at this point and it's not again it's not just me other jp players are uh voicing their annoyance over the fact that this is just more limited units and the game is just feeling more and more expensive and doesn't seem like the producers care that much we're sorry please keep spending money so yeah great news for near fans who play this game uh and for anybody else well it's up to you whether you're going to want to check get these units or not but um Yes, uh, you won't have to wait too long to find out whether they're good or not because uh, we'll get the information as of Wednesday. So look forward to me going over those units. And that's it. That's all for everything for this video. So um, keep an eye out for more videos for me for this week, including a talk about the EX job system. Uh, brace yourself for that one. That is not a happy one. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Um, but either way, I, I am going to play through the near events. I, I'm going to play through them. It should still be fun smacking them around with uh, the characters I do have. Please, no point event. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.